Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? Sandwich Slim here. Welcome back to another vlog. Another vlog. I did a vlog yesterday. Well, today I was so tempted, so tempted to go in my dad's drawer and take some little, little toky toky of that cannabis. But this guy, you know, if my dad did have, if he usually has a big bowl light up, I mean, he has a big stack full of bowl. I'm good, but he hardly had shit. And usually those days where I'm pissed off and shit, I usually take it. But not today. Not today, no. I just got back from my parents too, by the way, get my clothes and stuff. But also, this right here, if you see the title here. <sighs> went to the psychiatrist yesterday. Also, actually, I ended up going to... I guess I'm polysporin because this guy has a fucking infection in his nose, maybe nasal polyps. Fucking weird. So I went to the doctor's earlier today. Got in that fast. I was going for a walk this morning, and the doctors, the, the my doctor, my my doctor Azar uh, or her nurse said, "Well, Doctor Azar is up. You got you see her next twenty next month on the twenty seventh, and then you see." Um, Dr. Westfall, he's up for 9 o'clock, so it's 8.24, so I had to dash back, fast walking, back home, which I wasn't that far anyway. Here's my cat. Sebastian Cameo. Sebastian Cameo. What are you doing, buddy? He loves pipe cleaners. But, um... Uh, I, I've been having this little bump in my nose, and it's been bothering me lately. And they checked it and said, "Oh, get some base attraction, not not uh, not a uh, neosporin. Get base uh, ba back attraction or something." They have the generic form, but I said, you know, because this has also polymyxin B sulfate. So add on to that. So that's what I did. So I got polysporin. I don't know. I got it. And they told me to do it for two weeks and then I called back and then I may have to get a biopsy from Dr. Gillum. So yeah. But other than that, with the title of the video, yes, I did go see the psychiatrist yesterday. I am taking, not only, I'm taking Buspar 20 milligram now. I was taking 10 and 15 and I hope the dose to 20. I mean, does it help a little bit? Yeah, it does help a little bit, you know, with anxiety and stuff. It's not benzo. It's not like Ativan or anything, sedating effect. But, you know, it does help a little bit. But I did go see my psychiatrist, Ms. Annalise Mashad. And, uh, went to see her. Oh, well, message. Okay, never mind. But I went to go see her and then tell her what's been going on for all these issues I've been going through. And then I was withdrawing from the medication, yada, yada. And they said, I mean, usually I see for a month, but they know how I am very sensitive with medicines. But we're back on the Capilita. We're back on the Capilita. Luth Luperson, Luper I don't know what the real word is, but it's Capilita. It is Capilita. 42 milligram. Take one capsule by mouth daily with food. And when I say with food, I, I'm thinking it's a meal. But no, I, I just have to have crackers. Like, you know, I have some Lance crackers here. Give me some whole grain, which is my favorite. Whole grain. I have a lot of fiber in that shit. So that's what I love. God, I have a fucking headache. I bet you this is one. This is, But this is my progress because this is also, this is the second day. Well, this is the second time. Because it's been, how many weeks has it been? It's been since the calendar. Today is the 8th. Let me see here. It's the 8th today, so. Since the 17th. Well, last month on the 12th, I didn't even take it for two days. And then I, t I went back on the Monday, but I was very feeling. I took an I've helped my grandma out, but I took this medicine and I would wake up and I'm like somberlent, extremely drunk, drowsy feeling. So, 
I ended up taking it again on the 17th in the uh, in the night the evening and I took it at 9:30 9 o'clock 9:30 and I woke up around like maybe 12 or 1 and it's higher than hell it fucking sucks so okay here we go so the, uh, uh, this is for the first night sorry it took you f- six minutes to talk about this but all right here 5:30 here um, I did I took this last night and took it at 9 30 or almost close to 10 o'clock watch some TV watch some wrestling I was up here in my recliner passed the hell out and I woke up at the same time like usual two or three or whatever the fuck and that feeling this hot ass fucking ass feeling this hot feeling this like this like and I was drowsy as fuck I went I shut my TV off I went to I went to my bed I had my fan on me which if it wasn't for the fan I mean I gotta have a fan guys I have to have a fan to sleep. Um, you can see right there. Well, by my cat, there's a fan right there. I got a fan right here. Well, it, it's an old fan. I just have there. I got my fan right here. I got a fan in the bedroom. Actually, the fan right in front of me is my son's fan when he stays over. But no, this is. It's terrible. It fucking sucks. It's just, it just the, the the it's just the side effects right now. It's just this hot like you can overheat on this shit. And the thing is too is I like to walk. And this morning like I tried to walk a little bit, but damn, it's like and I, I kind of feel a little headache. I kind of feel a little migraine or whatever fuck headache. Oh God, it's, it's fucking. I don't know. It fucking irritates the hell out of me, but. My bipolar depression. That's what I have. Sometimes I think I'm, I'm being misdiagnosed, but yeah. So yeah, first night is a go. I don't know if I'll be doing every day of this vlog. Maybe the next time will be seven days. Maybe I'll do date, like I said, night one, night seven, uh, every seven days maybe. I don't know. But if it gets, if I get these, if it get worse, worse side effects, I mean, I can, I'll, I'll vlog and talk about it. But other than that, I did want to go back on Will Butrin, but they did not want me to get on Will Butrin, so I'm, I'm sticking. I guys take this shit. So yeah. Also, I'm going to be refraining a lot of things. Some TMI things that you people should not know. I don't think you want to know. <laughs> There's just a lot of shit, you know. It's just I'm hanging in there. I'm carrying on. I mean, this boy right here is about to go to some Fazolis, or my son would call it Fazzles. Three dollars off ten bucks. I've spent so much money on fast food this month. I can't budget with fuck. But until I get a job. I have a distraction. I thought I had this job in this job in the can at the RP Home Harvest. It, it not. It's been three weeks, I think. Has it been that long? Or two weeks? Maybe two weeks. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm hanging in there, and we're just gonna apply for more jobs. I, I want to be an unloader, but I don't know if my medication, that's the thing, is this, this medication is going to drive me insane. That's the only thing. Is maybe these side effects will go away, hopefully in time, but you overheat. And the thing is, I would like to be an unloader, just unload packages. But in this, at this fucking rate, I mean, these this fucking shit here... I mean, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm I'm trying to be in there. I'm I'm 32 years old. I I you know, and I, I know people say don't compare your age and shit, but I should have got this done 10 years ago. I should have looked for work 10 years ago. Uh, I was, but I don't want to get. I, but I, I'll keep talking, talking, talking. So you know what? I don't care. This is just the first night. The first night was last night. Tonight's tonight's the second night. Hope it goes all well. And yeah, so. But that's Capilite at 42 milligram. 
get a little headaches afterwards and dizziness, extreme drowsy fuck. So yeah, I'm STS. Thank you again for watching this vlog, and we'll see you again whenever. Peace.